Welcome to Watercolor Lessons with Kathy. I'm Kathy Nichols, and I'm a lifelong artist, painter, and teacher. I help students of all ages tap into their creativity with watercolor. Watercolor is a great way to express yourself, and it's easy to get started and fun to do. I hope you join me to learn how to paint with watercolor. I can't wait to see your paintings. Welcome. In some of our lessons, we use a template to get the proportion and balance right. In our Soaring Eagle lesson, we use one. So let's get started and I'll show you how. After deciding I wanted to paint an eagle with a fish in its talons, I searched on Google for eagle with fish. When I clicked on images, a whole page of eagle photos, paintings, and drawings appeared. After looking them over, I selected this one. I then saved the image to my computer. After reducing the image size so the template would fit the watercolor paper, I printed it out. So I have my materials here. Here is the photo that I'll be using. And here's my tracing paper. Now I do want to note you can use a pencil or I have here a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. And the only thing with the pencil is you need to be careful of the graphite that Sometimes with a graphite, it will smear, so you have to be careful with handling it. So for this, I'm going to show you with using the Sharpie because you'll be able to see it more. Now, I want to say there, there's some, when you're doing the template, you're, you will be cutting it out. And you will want to note some of the details and put them, put them on your template. So when you are painting, that will give you a good idea of position of things. So here, I'm doing the eye where the beak is and doing the line where the eagle has that white head and then the start of the darker feathers are about here and then where the talons are there's one and there's the other and then more of the outline of the fish A 
was a little bit more up there. Like that. And then go ahead and cut it out. Now, there might be some areas that are really hard to cut out or fine. And um, go ahead and cut them out and it's just a little more time consuming, kind of time consuming when you get to those details. So here I'm gonna start at the, the tip of the feather. a small area and I'm going to just kind of make a big area to cut around it and go back and recut there. It just makes it easier than that one. And you could do the same thing here on the tip. It's just to cut around so you can get that big scrap of paper away. And I'm going to do that all the way around here. Then you can fine tune some of your cutting. Get some of that out of the way. This area, I find it useful to kind of make a V to cut it. And also, you can also, when you get to that smaller area, get smaller scissors. Almost there. Okay. And there you have it. And then place it on your paper and you are ready to start your watercolor painting. So have your template and lay it down on the painting on the paper, pick up your liner brush and we will be outlining the template.
use ochre. It's, you want the color of the outline to be light. and mow your brush as needed. If you'd like to give watercolor a try, please subscribe to my channel and take a lesson or two. Take care, be safe, and see you soon.